Дорогие друзья, сегодня мы послушаем еще один короткий рассказ на английском языке. Сначала вы услышите рассказ без перевода и без субтитров. Таким образом вы сможете практиковать понимание английского на слух без помощи текста. Если вы только начинаете учить язык, возможно, вы ничего не поймете. Просто слушайте английскую речь и привыкайте к звукам английского языка. Three boots. Canadian winters can be very long. Winter can start in late September and end in May. Winters are not just long and cold, they often bring lots of snow. Snow is a great joy for kids, but not always for parents, who need to clean their driveways. One day after the blizzard, we woke up in the winter wonderland. Everything was white. Snow was sparkly and deep. My daughter and her friend, who stayed overnight, couldn't wait to go outside. Right after breakfast, they rushed to the backyard. They were outside for several hours. They dug tunnels. They built a snowman. And, of course, they found places in the backyard where the snow was deepest. Suddenly, the back door opened and two red-cheeked girls stormed into the house. They couldn't stop laughing. They were covered with snow. But then I noticed they didn't have their boots on. Finally, they calmed down and explained that they had lost their boots in the snow. I went out to help find the boots. We looked hard but only managed to find one boot. I went back to look for the other boots, but the temperature was quickly dropping. It was getting too cold to stay outside, so I returned home with no result. The next day, the snow became hard, making it difficult to dig. And then another snowfall came. We lost all hope of finding the boots. Several months have passed, and we forgot all about the boots. It was early spring when the warm sun melted the snow away. I noticed something colorful on the ground. What could it be, if not the boots the girls had lost in the winter? All three of them. Теперь давайте послушаем этот рассказ с субтитрами. Вы можете следить за текстом, чтобы укрепить навыки чтения и лучше понять рассказ. Но перед тем, как мы продолжим, Пожалуйста, поставьте нам лайк и обязательно подпишитесь на канал, чтобы не пропустить новые уроки. Three boots. Canadian winters can be very long. Winter can start in late September and end in May. Winters are not just long and cold, they often bring lots of snow. Snow is a great joy for kids, but not always for parents, who need to clean their driveways. One day after the blizzard, we woke up in the winter wonderland. Everything was white. Snow was sparkly and deep. My daughter and her friend, who stayed overnight, couldn't wait to go outside. Right after breakfast, they rushed to the backyard. They were outside for several hours. They dug tunnels. They built a snowman. And, of course, they found places in the backyard where the snow was deepest. Suddenly, the back door opened and two red-cheeked girls stormed into the house. They couldn't stop laughing. They were covered with snow. But then I noticed they didn't have their boots on. Finally, they calmed down and explained that they had lost their boots in the snow. I went out to help find the boots. We looked hard but only managed to find one boot. I went back to look for the other boots, but the temperature was quickly dropping. It was getting too cold to stay outside, so I returned home with no result. The next day, the snow became hard making it difficult to dig. 
and then another snowfall came. We lost all hope of finding the boots. Several months have passed, and we forgot all about the boots. It was early spring when the warm sun melted the snow away. I noticed something colorful on the ground. What could it be, if not the boots the girls had lost in the winter? All three of them. Давайте послушаем рассказ по частям с переводом. В этой части мы озвучим перевод, чтобы вы могли учиться на ходу. Three boots. Три сапога. Three boots. Three boots. Canadian winters can be very long. Канадские зимы могут быть очень долгими. Canadian winters can be very long. Canadian winters can be very long. Winter can start in late September and end in May. Зима может начаться в конце сентября и закончиться в мае. Winter can start in late September and end in May. Winter can start in late September and end in May. Winters are not just long and cold, they often bring lots of snow. Зимы не просто долгие и холодные, они часто приносят много снега. Winters are not just long and cold, they often bring lots of snow. Winters are not just long and cold, they often bring lots of snow. Snow is a great joy for kids, but not always for parents, who need to clean their driveways. Снег – большая радость для детей, но не всегда для родителей, которым нужно чистить подъездные дорожки. Snow is a great joy for kids, but not always for parents, who need to clean their driveways. Snow is a great joy for kids, but not always for parents, who need to clean their driveways. One day after the blizzard, we woke up in the winter wonderland. Однажды после метели мы проснулись в зимней стране чудес. One day after the blizzard, we woke up in the winter wonderland. One day after the blizzard, we woke up in the winter wonderland. Everything was white. Все вокруг было белым. Everything was white. Everything was white. Snow was sparkly and deep. Снег был искристым и глубоким. Snow was sparkly and deep. Snow was sparkly and deep. My daughter and her friend, who stayed overnight, couldn't wait to go outside. Моей дочери и ее подруге, которая осталась у нас на ночь, не терпелось пойти на улицу. My daughter and her friend, who stayed overnight, couldn't wait to go outside. My daughter and her friend, who stayed overnight, couldn't wait to go outside. Right after breakfast, they rushed to the backyard. Сразу после завтрака они поспешили на задний двор. Right after breakfast, they rushed to the backyard. Right after breakfast, they rushed to the backyard. They were outside for several hours. На улице они пробыли несколько часов. They were outside for several hours. 
They were outside for several hours. They dug tunnels. Они рыли туннели. They dug tunnels. They dug tunnels. They built a snowman. Они построили снеговика. They built a snowman. They built a snowman. And, of course, they found places in the backyard where the snow was deepest. И, конечно же, они нашли на заднем дворе места, где снег был наиболее глубоким. And, of course, they found places in the backyard where the snow was deepest. And, of course, they found places in the backyard where the snow was deepest. Suddenly, the back door opened and two red-cheeked girls stormed into the house. Внезапно задняя дверь распахнулась, и в дом ворвались две краснощекие девочки. Suddenly, the back door opened and two red-cheeked girls stormed into the house. Suddenly, the back door opened and two red-cheeked girls stormed into the house. They couldn't stop laughing. Они не могли остановить смех. They couldn't stop laughing. They couldn't stop laughing. They were covered with snow. Они были покрыты снегом. They were covered with snow. They were covered with snow. But then I noticed they didn't have their boots on. Но потом я заметил, что на них не было сапог. But then I noticed they didn't have their boots on. But then I noticed they didn't have their boots on. Finally, they calmed down and explained that they had lost their boots in the snow. Наконец они успокоились и объяснили, что потеряли свои сапоги в снегу. Finally, they calmed down and explained that they had lost their boots in the snow. Finally, they calmed down and explained that they had lost their boots in the snow. I went out to help find the boots. Я отправился на улицу, чтобы помочь найти сапоги. I went out to help find the boots. I went out to help find the boots. We looked hard but only managed to find one boot. Мы долго искали, но смогли найти только один сапог. We looked hard but only managed to find one boot. We looked hard but only managed to find one boot. I went back to look for the other boots, but the temperature was quickly dropping. Я вернулся, чтобы поискать остальные сапоги, но температура быстро падала. I went back to look for the other boots, but the temperature was quickly dropping. I went back to look for the other boots, but the temperature was quickly dropping. It was getting too cold to stay outside, so I returned home with no result. Становилось слишком холодно, чтобы оставаться на улице, поэтому я вернулся домой без результата. It was getting too cold to stay outside. So I returned home with no result. It was getting too cold to stay outside, so I returned home with no result.
The next day, the snow became hard, making it difficult to dig. На следующий день снег стал твердым, и его было трудно копать. The next day, the snow became hard, making it difficult to dig. The next day, the snow became hard, making it difficult to dig. And then another snowfall came. А потом пошел еще один снегопад. And then another snowfall came. And then another snowfall came. We lost all hope of finding the boots. Мы потеряли всякую надежду найти сапоги. We lost all hope of finding the boots. We lost all hope of finding the boots. Several months have passed, and we forgot all about the boots. Прошло несколько месяцев, и мы совсем забыли о сапогах. Several months have passed, and we forgot all about the boots. Several months have passed, and we forgot all about the boots. It was early spring when the warm sun melted the snow away. Наступила ранняя весна, когда теплое солнце растопило снег. It was early spring when the warm sun melted the snow away. It was early spring when the warm sun melted the snow away. I noticed something colorful on the ground. Я заметил на земле что-то разноцветное. I noticed something colorful on the ground. I noticed something colorful on the ground. What could it be, if not the boots the girls had lost in the winter? Что это могло быть, если не сапоги, которые девочки потеряли зимой? What could it be, if not the boots the girls had lost in the winter? What could it be, if not the boots the girls had lost in the winter? All three of them. Все три. All three of them. All three of them. Наконец, послушаем рассказ еще раз без перевода и без субтитров, но уже в более быстром темпе. На этот раз вы должны понять почти все. Three boots. Canadian winters can be very long. Winter can start in late September and end in May. Winters are not just long and cold, they often bring lots of snow. Snow is a great joy for kids but not always for parents who need to clean their driveways. One day after the blizzard, We woke up in the winter wonderland. Everything was white. Snow was sparkly and deep. My daughter and her friend, who stayed overnight, couldn't wait to go outside. Right after breakfast, they rushed to the backyard. They were outside for several hours. They dug tunnels. They built a snowman. And, of course, They found places in the backyard where the snow was deepest. Suddenly, the back door opened and two red-cheeked girls stormed into the house. They couldn't stop laughing. They were covered with snow. But then I noticed they didn't have their boots on. Finally, they calmed down and explained that they had lost their boots in the snow. I went out to help find the boots. We looked hard but only managed to find one boot. I went back to look for the other boots, but the temperature was quickly dropping. It was getting too cold to stay outside, so I returned home with no result. The next day, the snow became hard, making it difficult to dig. 
and then another snowfall came. We lost all hope of finding the boots. Several months have passed, and we forgot all about the boots. It was early spring when the warm sun melted the snow away. I noticed something colorful on the ground. What could it be, if not the boots the girls had lost in the winter? All three of them, 